Hello, uh, I wanted to make a little video today. It's nothing fancy, uh, just a nice quick little video. Uh, I get a lot of people asking how to install uh, woolen string silencers into their strings. So today I'm gonna show you how I insert my grizzly balls into a G string. Now they don't have to be my balls, they could be any balls. I mean, you can shove anything in there. So uh, yeah, let's show you how to install some uh, woolen string silencers. How's that? Okay, so what we've got here is just um, a pack of um, grizzly balls, as I'm calling them. They're just a, a very simple woolen um, string silencer. Now, the most common string silencer that I, I, I've seen around is the um, is the beaver balls. But as much as I like beaver balls, they're an absolute faff to get into your string. You've got to thread them in, wrap them around, re-thread them. It's a bit of a pain. These are by far simpler to install and they're lighter as well, so they're not gonna slow your string down uh, quite so much. But uh, without further ado, let's pop these out the bag and I'll show you how to um, insert these balls into this uh, into this string here. They uh, just come in a little Ziploc bag like this, so you pop them out. Now, this here is just some serving thread. Uh, you can use that to tie the, um, the balls in if you want to. I've never felt the need to. Um, I'm really happy with how secure they feel without being tied in, but you've got that as an option should you need it. Um, so without further ado, let's get these into the string. Okay, so when you get your um, your grizzly balls, they'll come like a like this, like a little um, little bow tie or that pasta, that little bow tie shaped pasta, I forget what it's called. Um, but what we were gonna do before we insert them into the string, we've got to work out roughly where they go. Now, a good jumping off point is about 12 inches from the top of the string. Um, when you're putting your, your balls in, um, to start with, I always tend to put them sort of equidistant, so the same distance from the top as from the bottom. Now, as you go, there are there are certain people that, that tune them slightly differently. Some people have the, the, the bottom ball slightly higher than the top ball but it's all about what works for you. So have a play with them, move them around. They're very simple to move around once they're in there. Um, see what gives you the best performance for your bow. But a good jumping off point is about 12 inches from the top of the bow. So I'm just gonna measure here. I've got 12 inches here. So that's that spot there. I've got it on a string jig uh, just to make life a little bit easier. But for you, um, you can do it on or off the bow. Off the bow is probably a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the tension out the string here to make it easier to uh, open up the strands. Now it's just a case of twisting it and opening up those strands there. And we, sh oh, that's come apart really easy. Um, what you wanna do is separate the string evenly. This is a pro um, grizzly string, so it's really easy. It's two colors, just separate the colors. If you have a um, hybrid string, they're not evenly um, colored. You get like this sort of marbling uh, effect in the string. Similar sort of process, you still have to one twist it and separate them, but you have to make sure there's an equal strand count on each side. So of this one, it's orange and black, so you want three orange and three black on one side, and three orange and three black on the other. If they're uneven, that's when you've got some sort of issues, but um, that's simple enough to put in a hybrid string as well as a pro string. So you just open it up like that, and then just thread in the um, ball, insert it nicely into the string there. When it's it, about the right sort of um, position, you put a few more twists in. Then what I like to do is whack a little bit more tension onto the string just to keep it in place. And then it's just a case of getting a pair of scissors and you cut these loops. And there's always a few little loops in there that need extra attention. Careful, obviously when you're using a sharp blade or a sharp pair of scissors or anything by a string, please be careful because there's a wayward one there, we'll get rid of that. Um, I think I've got most of, um, of those strands. Yeah, just be careful because a little slip can, can put a little nick in your string and, and it's it, it could ruin your day and you don't want that. So there you, you basically have it there is your grizzly ball installed. Now it looks a bit raggedy, it looks a bit dreadlocky, but what's gonna happen is as you shoot that ball, these fibers are all gonna sort of spread out and then you end up with a really nice round ball. Now I tend to make my balls quite tight and small, which gives you a nice round, tight, um, 
ball when it's in your string, when it's all fluffed up, when it looks nice. Um, so your best bet is to shoot that. If you want to speed up the process, you can get a little bit of Velcro. This is the male side Velcro, the rough side. You can just give it a little bit of a rub. That can sort of separate those fibers a little bit more. But the, the best way to do it is shooting. Now, they are easy to move up and down uh, a little bit. You just give them a little push one way or a little push the other. That's when you can serve them in if you want to, just tie them in. I don't need to, um, I like to have them just as they are. They're easy to replace. You can whip them out if they're not working for you. But that is a uh, grizzly ball inserted into a grizzly string or a G string, if you like the innuendo. Um, yeah, that's just that's just a little simple little video I wanted to make for you because um, I sell these on the website now and um, I just wanted to show people how to how to put them in really. So yeah, just a nice little simple video. You should quiet your string down nicely. Um, perfect for hunting. We can make them any color really to match your string or any other bizarre color schemes that you uh, you may want. But anyway, that's just a quick little video for you. I hope you found it useful. Um, I was going to do a bow review today, but it's absolutely pouring down with rain. So uh, yeah. Anyway, you take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye.